Welcome to ID Simplified. In today's lab, we are going to visualize real-time sensor data that our IoT Hub received by using Power BI. And for this lab, we are going to use Azure Stream Analytics, which is a fully managed service and is designed to help us analyze and process fast-moving data. And for the purposes of device, we are going to use online Raspberry Pi simulator. And I've laid the link for that device in the description of this video. So with that, let's go to the Azure portal and start the step number one, which is to search for IoT Hub. And let's start creating this hub under the resource group with the name IoT Archie. And my deployment will be in Canada Central Region. And for the sake of this lab, I'm going to use a free tier, which should be good enough, but you can always pick basic or standard. And let's review and create. Let's go inside our IoT Hub and under device management, we are going to add the device, which is going to be basically our Raspberry Pi. Feel free to give any name you want. And let's save this setting. Once done, let's go inside this and to, to connect IoT Hub to the simulator, we'll be needing the connection string, which I'm going to copy from here and uh, going to the simulator, we need to add that string in line number 15. Perfect, and I'm going to run this. And you can see that it is sending the message to the IoT Hub, so it seems to be working fine. Now let's move to the next step, which is basically creating the stream and legs job and let's click on the create button and again my deployment is under one resource group which is IOTRG and uh, feel free again to give the name you want I'm going to take all these default and create this stream analytics job Inside our stream analytics job under job topology we're going to add input and output and after that we'll create a query so let's start by creating an input and we're going to get the input from the IOT hub and we need to provide an input alias so just feel free to give again any name I'm going to name it my IP or my input and you can see my IOT hub is automatically selected and it is asking for the consumer group. So what we're going to do is let me duplicate this tab. And that consumer group we need to create under our IoT hub. So let me just go and search for it. Let's go and expand. You will see under the hub setting I have built in endpoints. So let me just go and create. You just need to give a name for the consumer group and click on save and now if i go and refresh the page hopefully i will be able to see that consumer group the one that we just created here we go you can see now and under the shared access policy name, I'm going to pick service and rest everything. I'll leave that to the default and click on save. So while it is testing the input, I can go to the output button and uh, create an output and the output will be Power BI because that's what we want to utilize for visualizing. And I'm going to use the workspace and for the authentication mode, I'm going to use the token and actually let me show you 
I'm logged into my Power BI account with the same account with which I am logged into my Azure portal. Now for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to use the free version of Power BI, but maybe if you want more functionality, you can upgrade that to the premium version. And uh, to see the workspace, I can go to the view account. And if I go and expand this, you can see I'm in the workspace and uh, you will see that we'll be needing it in a moment. So let me just go and give the name for the data set and also the name for the table. And let me just authorize that uh, we are going to work with the Power BI on the output. So let's click on the save button. We created our input, which is our IoT hub, and the output, which is going to be Power BI. Now let's go to the query and uh, let's add another parameter. So basically, I'm going to add where temperature. is not null and for my input alias it is my IP that's the name that you need to give and I want that in the RBI and the alias for that is my output let me just save this query and if you want, you can also optionally test this also. So it's testing the query here. You can see and you can see that it's working fine. So I'm going to go to the overview button now and start this. And if you want, you can specify a specific start time you want, but we want to test this straight away. So let's go and click on the start button. That it's still starting the stream analytics job but let's go to the uh, power bi workspace and let's see if there's any activity so you can see my data set has appeared over here now if i go and click on these three dots let's go and click on the report or create report and let's try to create some dashboard and for this demonstration let's create a line chart and if i expand my table under data that you can see let's add to certain Let's say we add temperature on the X and Y axis. So on the X axis, I'm going to use the this option. And for the temperature, I'm going to add that to the Y axis. Right, and if you want, you can always expand this. And you can see that uh, this is the way you can create different dashboards, right? And based on the kind of query that uh, you have uh, utilized in the stream analytics job, maybe you can add more parameters also like humidity and everything. But in our case, we only have the temperature, which is on the on the uh, Y axis and e event inquest, which is in the UTC time, which is on the X axis. And if you want optionally, you can also save this report can give the name if you want and uh, save it so you can see over here and uh, you can also optionally embed this into your own application but this is the way you can visualize your data in power bi all by utilizing combination of uh, iot hub and stream analytics job hope you found this useful thanks for watching have a good day